Stella up 80% overnight and then plummets back down to 40%. What's exactly happened? Let's have a look at the technicals in this video here right now. Okay guys, so the Stella price chart and the 73% move. Um, okay, so looking at this price chart, um, I just wanted to see whether actually this fractal is playing out. And it seems that there is some degree that it is. Not exactly the same way, it being a fractal, you know, um, it's not going to be exact, but it's there's going to be a degree of rhyming and so when i say this fractal let's talk about this let's look at this this blue bar pattern that we could see here if i just try and move it for you and then we can see there we go that's a blue fractal um and i took that i believe from um here where are we yeah, so you see these two, this big move here at around uh, 2022, from around here, 10th of February, 10th of January, all the way through to um, March the 20th, March the 14th. So 2022, and I just overlaid it here to our current day. And as I say, it you know, there is some degree of, of rhyme in here. Um, it's not actually moving exactly the same, but you can see we've got a lot of volume that's come in over the last uh, um, from, from yesterday. So, and it's just really just left a wick um but let's measure that out let's have a look and see what what that is what that wick actually is and how much of a move that we've got there so we're talking what 78.68 percent so and you know that's moved up above the 50 day moving average which is the blue line here um the blue curvy line that's following the the, the candlestick pattern and up above the 200 day moving average which is the yellow curvy line um, and you can see where that candlestick wick crosses it there so so really um, as I say again it is it is it is moving but trading this would I I mean how would I look at it how would I look at it in terms of if I was doing a swing trade on this what would I would I use this as an indicator that I'm gonna that I'm gonna um, um, that I want to trade from this point. Well, no, because I'd want to see I want to see a close above the 200-day moving average. And what I mean by that is I want to see I want to see a full um, solid um, green candlestick, not just a wick. I want to see a full solid candlestick to take that as a as a close above the moving average to take that as a as a new swing high which is what we would call so our, our previous swing low would be down here okay um around may the 10th and then the the, the new swing high um at the moment it's still going to be um around june june the in fact it's may is it may yeah around may the 31st May the 30th, that would be the swing high there. So um, at the moment, yeah, whilst it's looking, it's a definitely a bullish indicator, but it's not by all means um, something that I could trade. I would say that it's still ranging right now. We've still got a little bit more for it to play out. I mean, the day might turn into um, hopefully a move up 20, 30%. But that candlestick was definitely a 70.8%. 70 70.8% move to the upside and really just looking at fractals let's jump over to um a, a, another example where you could see the use of fractals in play so let's let's head over to um to a stock which is a dividend paying stock um at and t 
and it, you, you, you'll get a 5.3% yield from this stock every year. So you buy this stock, you'll get 5.3% every year of this stock. And you could purchase that stock inside your ISA from your Trading212 account. The link is down in the description. We'll both get £100 worth of shares free if you use that link. Uh, but let's have a look and see how well these fractals actually play out. So you can see this blue fractal. And again, I've taken this fractal from this from way back in um 2020 which is 2020 the 8th of october and if you look at that actually having said that from the 8th of october we're going further back to the 8th of july 2020 all the way through to april may 2022 which is where we sort of come to an abrupt end it comes to a top and then it just drops out the bottom as you could see there so this is the fractal that i've taken and then i've overlaid it over here as you can see and look how well it's actually playing out and i have traded this i have used this fractal to trade and um yes i've made some gains on it at the moment what am i expecting i'm expecting to do for it to do the exact the exact same thing as it did last time which is take a big drop it may not happen it may not happen, but I think um, there is a good chance of it happening because it's been playing out for a year so far. Was that, um, you know, uh, uh, since um, we could say 7th of October 2021 20, all the way up until present day. And it is, you could see, we have got a decline here. So it's actually reached that top and it is moving down. Um, so whether it just drops all of a sudden or we get that slow we get that slow move down where it finds a floor, moves back up, finds a floor, moves back up, finds a, gradually moving further and further down. Um, and you can see now that we've actually got at this point um, the 50 day crossing with the with the 200 day moving average, which is the again, the um, squiggly yellow and blue lines coming crossing in there. And, and that really does give us a, a good idea as to where it's going to be going so yeah looking at that as i say you know um, if you if using fractals can give us a good indication um as to where the the market's actually going it's not going to move in exactly the same way but certainly it will rhyme and you'll be shocked and surprised that you know um where the levels line up is, is is almost exact they may not play out exactly at the same time time is relative remember but they absolutely hit these 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 zones these levels and um on a few occasions maybe not but they may slip out and again that's part of the rhyming it's not it's not going to be the exact same vocal cord but it's singing the same tune right so as i say um this is um a good indicator as to um, how fractals really work with this. I'm Nathan of Zion, signing out for today. And so, is this 80% move up and then back down? Anything to do with Protocol 19? Just come out on the 8th. Check out this next video right now, Protocol 19, and find out what it's about. And be sure to smash the Zion coin and see you in the next one.